be great, especially through the war, because all the, there was the army, the navy, and the air force. They all used to be sort of stationed round about here, and they used to come down <coughs> on the weekends to the Alexandra Hotel, and we used to have terrific bands, lovely bands, and they were all dancing downstairs. They used to have a big dance hall, and there was a great big balcony above this thing. Um, I think they had to pull it down because it got so old, but it was love. Yeah, we used to sit up there and watch the people dance, and then if you were lucky, you got asked to dance. And Bill and I had a lot of lovely times mm. down there. I had to creep home though. And then, as a teenager, obviously, in in the fifties, it was the Cliff Pavilion was was one of the main attractions. But there, yeah, in the summer, there were always two dances a week, and and family entertainment. Uh, a uh, talent night and um, a music lovers night. There was something every night for local people to go to, which was pretty good for a small place like this. And in the winter, the, the Alexander, Alexander House is now um, a retirement home. But then it was a, well, a posh hotel, I suppose. And they they had a, a dance. They had plays in the, in the winter and, and, and a Saturday dance and, I met my husband at a Saturday dance at the Alex. <laughs> On the days the cruise ships were in, when we had lots and lots, it was more of a passing through place for the tourists. They'd either come here or be bussed off to Colchester. But the crew members spent a lot of money in our local supermarkets and shops, stocking up on their wares and things that they would need. It was quite nice to be able to go down to the supermarkets and see all the different crew members and I think the regular ones got to know where to go and where not to and it was it was quite good for the town really as well. The main attraction was of course um, Warners. Warners of course in the summer that, that employed a lot of local people on a, on a, for summer jobs and that was always very very popular and if your mum worked there sometimes you could They'd give you a pass to go in the swimming pool, that was a red letter day. Um, my brother and a lot of his friends, they used to have soapbox carts um, and they waited, waited at where the coaches used to come in, they knew the timetables um, and the families were just only too delighted to give them a few pence to load the suitcases on and walk down walk down to the holiday camp. You'd go down Fronks Road um, and the Hall Lane and uh, down to the holiday camp. And that money my, my brother used to save up for a railway runabout ticket. He used to save it all for a railway runabout ticket for his school holiday because he was a train spotter, a dedicated train spotter.